is her room right here. We're gonna take the stairs. Wait, let me show you a view. We got the Fremont Street experience right there with McDonald's. And we're gonna take the stairs because there's only like two elevators working at the moment. And they're quite filled right now because it's about checkout time and a lot of people are leaving right now. So we're on our way to the ABC store. It's usually where I buy some stuff. I'm gonna just go get me a reusable bag. Because I usually do carry something like that when I'm out of town. And anything we buy, we just stick it in one bag. So that's what we're on our way to go get. But we're walking to it and this is just a little bit of Fremont Street experience at 12 noon. It's not that popping yet. People are barely waking up from their hangovers. All right, we're coming to eat brunch. We haven't had breakfast, so this is lunch. Brunch at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm quite excited about that. Cause uh, I've been waiting for a year to eat this place. All right, y'all, we made it to the Cheesecake Factory. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have me some Buffalo Blast and some of the red macaroni and cheese. We just got some of the famous Cheesecake Factory bread. You got your wheat and your white bread and then they bring you some butter. All right, just got the chicken blast. These are so good if you haven't tried them. They're so freaking good. And then these are the macaroni and cheese fried balls. And then we got a Cuban sandwich with some fries. This also looks really good. Mm, these look so good. These are the fried macaroni cheese balls. I've been wanting to try these for some time. <clears throat> That's what they look like. Mm, look at all that cheese. Mm, so good. Alright, I ordered the upside down pineapple cheesecake. I've never tried this one, but it looks really good. Cute little security tower. All right, we came to Ross. I usually come to this Ross when I'm here. So the Sagittarius sucks. And it's the only Sagittarius pair, so I'm gonna take these because I'm a Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're coming to Tacos El Gordo. We just got our food. I got a vampiro. I've been wanting to try this taco for some time. Look at that. It's layered with cheese and carne asada, some salsa, cilantro, no onion because I don't like it. We got a taco of asada. And my weaknesses, carne asada fries. Look at that.
Ito yung number dito, yun. The first time I see Resort World. For the past few years, I've seen it in the making. We are coming to the pepper mill. We haven't been here in a while, but I want to come have a drink here. I don't want to come eat here because we just came from Tacos El Gordo. So we are inside the pepper mill and it's such a vibe in here. I've never been to the lounge. It's so chic and cool. You get these, you get to sit on these cool, comfy, I guess, sofa chair booths. And it is open seating. So it's called the Fireside Lounge. And I'm gonna see what I order. I like how they have this Stardust sign in memory of the Stardust because fun fact where the Resorts World is built this is where the Stardust once stood It's so beautiful in here. It's so big too. A big old statue of Mike Tyson. It's really huge. So this is a piece of art. It's called a sexy robot. It looks like a Playboy bunny. World. This is my first time coming in here. Um, it's really neat because I've seen it when it was just nothing but dirt and then throughout the years every time I would come I would see like progression and it's just amazing to see that it's now made into this beautiful big hotel. Um, I like how when you walk in it does have um, the Stardust sign in memory of the Stardust because the Stardust once stood here, which in my opinion, the Stardust is an iconic hotel. This is a view from the top. We were just down there. Up here they have ballrooms. I guess you can have like a wedding or some type of event here. So here's a sneak peek of Enchantment. Um, I didn't go to Enchantment and I don't think we're gonna go to Enchantment, but it's kinda cool, I get to see it from above. It's closed right now, as you can see, there's no people, but it's kinda actually cool, because I get to see it from up here. Steve Aoki. A nice view of the TI Venetian, the Mirage. And we are in town, and it happens to be the NFR.
we just came back from Resorts World. I changed. I put on this new shirt. It's a Levi shirt that I got from Ross. It was only five bucks, five forty nine. It's a long sleeve. I hardly brought any long sleeve, and I put on some leggings. And we're gonna go downstairs and play a little bit, drink a little bit. We're here at the food court. It is open 24 hours. I got the munchies and I'm going to get a pizza. And we're also gonna get a sandwich. It is 1.44 in the morning. We were playing and we got a Corona and a Heineken. It's a nightcap to in the night, so yeah. We're just gonna eat and then go back to the room. Here's my jalapeno pepperoni pizza. Hot dog. Pretty good. Welcome back. Today is beer miss day number 15. Right there. Day 15, I got a Schwartz beer. I think that's how you say it. Interesting. German style, so... I'm probably going to like it. Back, it is day number 15 of Beer Mess. Here I have a Schwartz beer. It's a German style beer. It's very dark in color, so we'll see how this one tastes. Mm, this one's a little too strong for my liking. I got some on me right here. It tastes strong. It almost tastes like coffee. Um, I'm gonna give this one three out of five. Today is beer miss day number 16. It is right here. Let me pop that one open. Beer miss day number 16, and I got a winter Bach German style lager. I do like box, so I have a feeling I'm gonna like this one. Just finished tasting the winter Bach. Um, I thought this was gonna taste a little bit lighter and actually taste more like on the stronger side um i didn't like the taste at all so i'm gonna give this one two out of five it was just too strong for me 